<sighs> Hello, everyone. Happy President's Day. It's a holiday, so I'm off from work. And what am I doing? I'm rearranging and deep cleaning my kitchen. Fun, fun, fun. But uh, we had a little mishap and had a leak under our sink, but I've with it's been fixed. I've cleaned it out and reorganized under my sink and it brought on the journey. I'm the type of person that once I start something, it just opens up a, a big old thing. <laughs> and I've been cleaning. I got my bucket up here full of hot water, bleach, and I promised you back in a vlog a while that I would do a review on this pink stuff cleaning my oven. And I'm in the middle of cleaning my oven. And so far, so good. Don't mind my floors over there. I still haven't mopped or anything. I'm cleaning, so I'm cleaning from top to bottom. Got to mop later. But, um... So far, so good. This pink stuff is doing well. Um, it's not as good as the old SOS pad, scrub, 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 but it's doing the job. I got one of these, these uh, scrub daddy things here, and uh, I'm going to town. It's doing okay. But I feel like it would be, it, it, uh, the old fashioned way was the best. This is more natural and you don't have all of the fumes and the smells and all that stuff that you would with uh, other stuff. But, and we're trying to be more natural, trying to, trying to take care of things. Uh, breathing wise because my husband has this respiratory you know thing when he um <coughs> when he gets sick so i'm trying to be more natural with my cleaning products and all that stuff but ain't nothing like good old bleach so i <laughs> did use some bleach when cleaning up under my sink but i'm wiping down all my cabinets and and cleaning up my kitchen needs a, a remake I need a, a whole renovation done here, which probably within the next year we're going to get done. But for right now, I have, this oven is relatively new. It's only like two years old, so um, it's in good conditions. I need a new refrigerator at some point, but we have this refrigerator that just, it's hanging in there. It's over 20 years old. And um, we got a new, everything else is relatively new. But um, that's the review on the pink stuff. You didn't, I didn't, you didn't ask for a, a downgrade of what's going on in my kitchen. But the pink stuff works well. Um, and when I get done, I will uh, come back and show the, the results of it, of how it looks totally. But I'm in the middle of it right now, and it's doing okay. But it does take a little uh, scrub to do. But um, I'm letting it sit and soak right now, and then we're going to wash it down. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Hello again. Well, I'm back to show you the results of my oven clean which it came out really well. As you can see, I'm not sure. This little ring down in the bottom developed when I bought this oven. I made the mistake of thinking that it was like any other oven and put aluminum foil down there. Do not put aluminum foil in your stove. <laughs> I know that's an old hack that we used to do in older stoves, but um, as you can see, it damaged the bottom of my stove, and, and I learned that after the fact. But uh, it didn't damage the way that it works, but it damaged the looks of it. But 
it came out really good with the pink cleaner so I would recommend it um, after letting it sit in there for a while it was easy to scrub out and it came out clean very good so I would recommend it and I finished up most of my cleaning now I need to cook some dinner and I don't want to mess up my stove <laughs> But it's back to to normal and cooking and cleaning and this was my day off yes but I enjoy doing things like this cleaning my home fixing the sink and all the little things so thank you for watching talk with you later Good morning, good morning. Why well, hey, y'all? Almost morning. It's morning, most of the country. <laughs> Still. Well, we're back at it. It's a nice, it's a nice day. It's been um, pretty ugly the past, like Thursday and Friday. No, Friday and Saturday was pretty ugly. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday rained, was the worst. Rained all day, literally all day, 24 hours. Just kept raining. <laughs> And it was cold Sunday. It was ugly, yeah. So, sun's out. It's about sixty degrees or so. So it's it's much nicer. I know, like for for, for, for some of y'all are from sixty degrees is a heat wave. I know, not so much here, but not for us. But at least, at least the sun's out. Not many clouds in the sky, so as long as the sun's out, it's it's, it's okay. I I told my brother, who lives in New York, that uh, <laughs> I said when when the weather gets below below my age. It's That's cold. Cold. <laughs> cold. That is true. That is true. <laughs> so, watch out. Oh, oh there's vehicles. Yes. Imagine that, wanting to drive in the road. Wanting to drive in the street. What the heck? <laughs> Don't they understand? <laughs> Trying to get we got down here? walking to do. Yeah, but I'm, I'm on a break, so we don't have much time. Sorry we missed you guys. Saturday and Sunday and Monday. I forgot. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday I did some major housework, so I worked up more calories. Somebody had the day off because it's, you know, bank holiday. But anyway. It's a bank holiday. It's a holiday. Wasn't a, wasn't, wasn't a holiday for us. That's what's what? <laughs> well, I had the day off and did some things inside, and I will add that to this video so you all can see. But, um... Yeah, we're getting our steps in. We're not on lunch break. I'm on a break break. So we got to get it done. Again, we're sorry we missed you. We're back but at it. We're back at it. Keeping being accountable. So you can too. That's yes, the best you part. Can. You can too. You can be accountable to yourself. We're special, but we're not unique. So you can do it too. Yes. Thank you for watching. Remember, never forget. We, we love, love you, you and, and there's nothing, nothing you can, can do, do about, about it. it. Peace. Happy Tuesday. It helps when you turn it the right way. It does. Technology. Crazy thing. How y'all doing? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. It's a Wednesday walk with Deb and Will. Yeah. Well, it's nice out. It's about 60 degrees. Not, a, not, not not really a cloud in the sky. We're walking towards the sun because when you walk towards the sun, it's nice and warm. Uh, so we're doing that. Florida, it's beautiful. Not a drop of snow on the ground. <laughs> no snow. <laughs> Hasn't snowed here. Since 1979. 77. Was it 77? That was junior high school. 77. We had about an inch and it shut the place down. <laughs> About like a half an inch, and it shut the place down. I was in North Florida then, so we had more than an inch. <laughs> I made snowmen that morning. We had to have uh, some fun. We made snowballs and yeah. played outside. I didn't do any of that. My mom, I remember my mother would wake me up and tell me that it was snowed outside, and I had already seen snow, so I was like, so. <laughs> I didn't care. I really, it's funny. I really didn't care. I looked out and there was some snow on the car. I was like, eh, 
That's that's too bad. And they made us go to school that morning on a school bus, slipping and sliding all in school. And then about this time of day, it was just like this. And the kids in the afternoon didn't have to go to school because it was too dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. But we haven't I haven't seen any snow since here. Not in in not in Florida. South Florida. Uh, we're in West Central Florida. No, we haven't seen any snow. So. Hopefully, I'll never see it. I, I, it'll be good fine. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll never see another flake. <laughs> no, we're no, just doing a video. We're just doing a video. For our YouTube channel. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, sir? I'm doing good. very well. Thank you. <laughs> no, we're not surveyors. No, no, I don't know anything about all that. <laughs> all right, anyway, so we're just you know, saying hi to the people, you know, enjoying the neighborhood, enjoying the, enjoying the weather. Out for a morning walk. Yeah, we're trying to trying to show some consistency. Consistency is really the key, I think. Uh, being able to do whatever you're doing all the time. Just try to keep up with it. A little bit every day. You know, I teach saxophone flute and clarinet for a living. The idea is I'm trying to instill in my students. Be consistent. Be consistent in your practice. Uh, because when you're not consistent, you don't build any skills that way. So the idea is that we're we're trying to be out here as much as we can to be consistent. Uh, you we can't say, oh, we walk all the time, and when we walk like you know once a month, <laughs> you, there's no benefit to it. No. Yeah. You know, so, so the benefit comes in everything you do, you know, in being consistent. Um, so hopefully, uh, we're showing you that we are consistent, and uh, in our posting, and in our walking, and our walk with Christ, and everything. Be consistent. in our marriage. In our marriage, be <laughs> be consistent. Yes, be consistent. And that's not always an easy thing to do. No. Especially once you get to our age because you're set in your ways. A little bit. <laughs> you're set in your ways. And and um, although I have tried to be um, an uh, exerciser and mover and everything like that, but with... Uh, thyroid issues and different things going on in your body it makes it kind of difficult so once you get older it's even harder so my niece always says take care of your body and and that's where consistency comes in and, that, mm -hmm. and that's what you know I, I, I we were talking to you guys before is that do what you can you're not training for a marathon no and if you're in your 60s you're not in your 20s anymore so the expectation that you could do what you used to do is a foolish, ridiculous expectation. Just do what you can do today. Yeah. And that's in everything. Just do what you can do today. That's all you got. But that's all we have anyway. Do what you can do today. Get that done as well as you can. And then, you know, smile about the rest. Okay. I got to get back to work. Okay. Well, let's, message well, let's go. <laughs> Thank you for watching us. Uh, and remember and never forget. We love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Peace. Peace. We're out. Good morning. Get my first morning break walk in. Hubby's not with me. But that's okay. I'm getting me getting some quality time with my father God and I get to walk a little faster when I'm alone so don't forget to like comment subscribe pray for us to keep our healthy road going Thank you for watching. Peace out. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Hi, friends. I thought I would do a little different kind of video today. Get in, can't in frame here. I'm making my husband's lunch for the day. I am currently on my lunch break. And he goes into work about 2.30. So on my lunch break, which is at 1.30, I um, 
I have what I'm going to eat and then I go ahead and make him a little small lunch that he can take because he works until about nine at night. Um, so let's get into this. And what we have here today, and he has a girly lunch box here, unfortunately, but I'm getting him a, a masculine box soon. So what I have here today is, let's get you straight here, I have some pasta salad that I made yesterday or a few days ago, two days ago. Some pasta salad, and it has cucumbers, um, bruschetta, um, vegetable pasta. It's not regular pasta, it's vegetable pasta with some cheese and um, feta cheese and cheddar cheese, uh, carrots and olives in there. It's very yummy. And I put a little Greek dressing on top of it. So we're going to make this. He's not big on salads, but um, time to do some changes. So we're going to make this up for him today and see how it goes. Oh, I forgot. I have some chickpeas in here also. So this is like a little Greek salad, pasta salad here. Very tasty. And then I put some um, salad seasoning in there, salad toppings for him. Let me get a lid for that. And then we have a lid here. you can see here, I already had him a uh, charcuterie tray made out for uh, this morning that he ate. Trying to take care of my husband, people. Trying to take care of him he's healthy and healed. And right here, I'm making some apples. Have us some Ziploc bags here. This little apple cutter, I'm kind of addicted to it. I have a little thing for it because it's cool. You just put it on top of the apple and it slices it into the pieces that you want it in. Slice that up. He has, I've already washed this apple. The apples were washed and refrigerated. So we're gonna put this pasta away. We got this, apples and pasta. We have some Smart snacking uh, string cheese here and some Baby Bell light cheese for him to snack on as well. And then we have some carrots. And then I'm going to put some water in there for him. Um, not going to put any apple juice because he has enough apple juice at home. <laughs> so. This is not something to, to really fill him up, but just to carry him over until he gets home for dinner. Because he eats kind of a late dinner. But, um, and he's been eating everything that I put in there, all the little healthy foods. So, I'm proud of him. <laughs> and then we have water. Got it out of the pantry over there. And that will be it for him for his um, lunch for today. And sometimes I put like a little pack of uh, snacks in there. Well, uh, little um, pretzels or popcorn or something like that. Probably going to put a bag of popcorn in there today. I, uh, 
it's in my other pantry. <laughs> but this is his uh, lunch box. I'm going to put that in there. And this, and this, cheese and all of that. Put that in first. So much food in the freezer, it's dropping out. First world problems. <laughs> okay, and then we have the cooler that keeps everything cool and tight for him. Thank you for watching. And now I'm going to take you on some adventures of what I do for him um, for his lunches a little bit more. But this is for today. Thanks for watching. Hey, y'all. Good to see you. What's going on? You want it? Yeah, yeah. It is nice out. Very nice. It is nice. Uh, it's going to be about 80 degrees here uh, in West Central Florida. <laughs> oh, sucks to be you. <laughs> uh, there's a breeze going. Clouds way, way, way up in the sky. You can barely see them. Yeah, I don't see any. They're up there. They're way up there, though. Um, not going to rain today. It's going to be beautiful. You know, it's, it's, it's what we used to call as kids... Uh, this is the season where you lose sweaters and jackets. Because it was cold this morning. Because it was chilly in the morning. <laughs> and now, you know, about midday you take them off and you put them down and you have no idea and where it you is. you don't know what you did with them. <laughs> so, this, is, this is the season here in Florida where uh, if you need a jacket or a sweater, just go to the Austin Fountain when you're in school. There's tons of them there. Just pick them up. And, and you know what? And you wear it and you send the kid back and the next day, if they lose that, who cares? <laughs> Wasn't there to start with. It's Tammy. Oh, okay. So we got a, so we got a little late, late start. I had to go help a neighbor move something. And Debbie already walked today. I'm just going to walk a little bit. Stretch out the old hips. Uh, again, we want to be, be accountable. We want to be responsible. And here we are. And we are doing it. So there you go. Uh... Because, and, and, and if you can't, and, and if you don't do YouTube or something like that, and, and, you, and you need to be held accountable, find somebody in your life that you can be held accountable to. Yes. Anybody. Anybody. It, it doesn't, you know. A spouse. A spouse that works. A uh, good friend. Co-worker. Somebody and say, you know what? A church member. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to go walk in, you know, three days a week. And when you do it, let them know. Yeah. Say, walking, walking today. Or would you like to go walk in with me? Yeah, you know, cheer them up. Well, that may be possible, but they may not even be where you are. That's true. I mean, they may be across the country. They may be across the planet. But, you know, check in. Let them know that you're doing it. Um, and that holds you accountable. And they'll be able to hold, hold you accountable to a degree. And that way you can get something done. Talk to my sister. And I'm so proud of her. She goes to the gym and walks five times a week showing off now 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 she's yeah. just showing well, off she's retired <laughs> now nah, she's just showing off <laughs> five times a week she does the, the treadmill the bike and a little bit of weight training and See, stuff she's but... weightlifting she's bodybuilding <laughs> she's doing very well but she is retired <laughs> oh yeah okay and feeling good showing off but that's okay it's good yes that's good okay all right we got to get out of here make room for somebody else so remember this never forget we love you and there's nothing you, you can, can do, do about, about it. it. Peace. Peace. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. It's been a long time since I did a haul. Been letting you guys watch us walk. <laughs> and we are walking daily still, even if I don't tape it. But we've been kind of walking separately. I walk my time and then when he gets a chance to walk. So, cause, because... We do have jobs and we have other things going on. Sometimes we can't always walk together. But um, I've decided I would do a haul today. Today is Saturday, February the 23rd. And um, we're going to do a uh, Walmart pickup haul. And 
let's turn around and see what we got. Okay, we're going to start over here. And uh, this is about, I'd say, uh, how much did you spend, Debbie? This is $200 <laughs> of groceries uh, from Walmart. And uh, let's get going. So over here, we have some um, baking soda. Arm and Hammer baking soda. As you well know, we have a new member of the family, the kitty, TC. And I use this in her litter box. Um, and also, you know, you use that in the refrigerator. But mostly I've been needing to get more because I use it in her litter box. In the bottom, I line it up and put that in and it helps to keep it fresh longer. Um... So that's that. We have some premium saltine crackers. And then we have here some um, frittatas, some bacon and spinach frittatas. Usually for breakfast, I will make my husband uh, an egg on top of a thin bagel or on, uh, on a muffin, egg McMuffin, on a, not an egg McMuffin, but a, uh, a Thomas muffin, uh, whole wheat, but some mornings when I'm busy and can't take my break long enough or we go walking during my break, I put pop these in the fryer and we'll have one of those. And they're protein base also. And what's this? Beef liver. Yes, I have been craving some and and I love liver and onions. So for tomorrow for dinner, I'm going to make some liver and onions with some rice and vegetables. Um, I know many people don't like liver, but I'm one of those people that grew up eating it and I really like it. And I'm not going to do it like my mom did though, how they would fry it and, and baste it. I'm just going to saute it and put the onions and, and other peppers and, you know, in there and on top of rice. So. I'll let you see how it turns out. We have some chicken thighs here. I'm going to make barbecue chicken for meals this week. And back here, we have some turkey sausage. I'm going to try using that as an alternative for breakfast as well. And some apple juice. My husband likes to have a little a one of those a day, a little apple juice. We have some salad back there for salads we have his loving ever loving yellow rice um it was time to stock up on that so i got some yellow rice and this is kimchi which i'm the only one in the house that likes that and if you're not aware kimchi is just uh fermented cabbage and this one is a little spicy but uh it's kind of like um sauerkraut but uh, a little with a little kick to it. And I like to have kimchi sometimes with my salads and different things or just on the side or with a sandwich or something. It's very good for your tummy. So, but I like it. We have uh, potato wedges here. And then some turkey. Did I get the Cajun? Yeah, the Cajun um, turkey uh, for sandwiches for my hubby's lunch. Here we have some, I'm sorry for that silence. I was trying to figure out what I got. But uh, here we have some solid yellow fin tuna. This is the first time I'm trying this. I saw it advertised in somebody, saw it in somebody else's haul and they were saying how good it is. So I decided I would try that. We have some cheese, Kobe cheese for charcuterie boards that I make. You see those videos. I have that. I have some celery here, celery sticks. I put those in his lunch. We have strawberries and grapes. Down here we have some American cheese for sandwiches. Look at these avocados. These are yummy. 
I like avocado toast, as you well know. We have a, a English cucumber. Back here we have some Dunkin'. And this one here is a different one, a brownie one. I've This is my second time buying this. And my husband likes it because it's not, you may hear my kitty, it's not as sweet as that one back there. My son prefers that. And my husband likes this one because it's less sugar. Then we have our favorite Cosmic Crisp Apples. These Cosmic Apples here are yummy. If you've never tried them, they're a little costly, but they are the best. Put them in the refrigerator and then slice them up. Oh, yum, yum. So those are our, veg our fruits for this week. We got some apples and some strawberries, grapes. And then I got some applesauce here for hubby for his lunches. Back right here we have some chicken sauce that my son likes on his sandwiches because it makes it like um, Chick-fil-A. This is just like Chick-fil-A sauce. And I have some beef gravy here that I'm going to use on my liver when I make my liver and onions. We have some uh, cube cheese and um, meat here for charcuterie boards during the week. Up here we have some um, flavored soda. It's, it's bubbly, sparkling water, but it doesn't have sugar in it. It's just sparkling water. Then we have our paper towels, some bread for the week, Sara Lee bread. It's my family's favorite. I don't really care for bread, as I've told you before, but I do eat a sandwich every now and then. And we have some mixed vegetables here, some mushrooms. I'm going to put the mushrooms, of course, in my liver and onions. <laughs> then we have some salmons back here. Um, I'll make that probably tonight for dinner. And... Some is some uh, electrolyte water for when we go walking. We have to refurbish ourselves. We have some heavy duty um, Reynolds wrap, some Dawn dish detergent, some Dove body wash, some alcohol because it was completely out of this in the house, and we use it for lots of different things. Um, we have some baked chips and some banana walnut bread cake. And here we have a Walmart pizza, which are very good. And what I do is I'll slice these up and put them in the freezer for snacks or whatever my son and my husband. My husband doesn't eat these that much anymore because he's trying to be better. <laughs> of course, but I put them in the freezer for a quick meal or a quick lunch. But there you have it. And of course I have water, bottled water down on the floor. I didn't want to pick it up, but we have bottled water as well. But that's our weekly haul here for the Lawson household. And I hope you've had a great week. And looking forward to the uh, week to come. This will be a uh, uh, haul mixed with our, it's kind of like a weekly vlog. I'm going to show us walking and different things that we did throughout the week. Um, me cleaning my oven and um, just some things kind of different. Trying to do something different in 2024. But thank you for watching. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Like, comment, and subscribe. I haven't been asking people that, but please subscribe and share our videos so that we can grow our channel. Thank you.